Today, we are calling for rent by owner leads. This lead source is one of the most overlooked lead sources, and I love it because these are people that are investing in property, they're acquiring assets, and it's a phone call that you can switch into multiple facets. So you can call them, see if they're interested in getting a home value, figuring out what their asset is worth, they can become listings, or if the conversation goes a different way and they're just looking to acquire more property, you can become that agent that helps them acquire more property if they don't have somebody already. So I'm gonna kind of go through how to flip that conversation. You'll probably hear me do it in a couple of these calls. Every single call isn't gonna be a home run, but it's good to get out there and talk to these homeowners because if you can build that relationship over time, you're gonna start getting those calls like, hey, um, I remember you called me and you, you send me information every month and you stayed in contact over the last year now I want to sell my investment property, or now I want to get into commercial property, or now I want to buy a building. These are good conversations to have because these people are playing the game of real estate. And most of the time they'll want to talk to you and they're pretty nice. They're good conversations most of the time. I've gotten listings from this before. It works really well. All you got to do is put the time in and make the calls. So let's dive into some of those calls right now. <music> Okay, so now it's time to log into the dialer. Today we're calling for rent by owner leads. Uh, this lead source here is just basically trying to rent their property out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them a call. I have a script that I'm using and I'm gonna basically see if they have any interest in finding out what their home is worth. If that fails, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the switch on this and I'm gonna see if I can get them as a buyer that wants to acquire more rental properties and grow their portfolio. And keep in mind, I just did 194 calls, so I'm a little exhausted, so bear with me on this, but uh, we're gonna bang through about 30 minutes of calls, um, and we're gonna see if we can set some appointments or at least get our foot in the door to see if we can work with some of these people and hopefully get some listings. So let's dive into it. First thing I'm doing is I'm logging into my Chime CRM. I love the CRM. And then we're gonna hit the um, Red X system that has my for rent by owners in it. And we're gonna just kind of start dialing. So I'm gonna hand dial these since they are one-off calls. Um, I could use the power dialer, but I'm gonna hold off on that. So, all right, let's roll. Uh, hey, Willie? Yes. Hey, Willie, this is Chris. So I'm just calling about the uh, rental you have listed online. Are you still trying to uh, fill that vacancy? I am. We are doing the open house on Saturday from 1 to 4. An open house Saturday 1 to 4? Okay. All right. Um, well, my name is uh, Chris. I don't want to take up too much of your time. My name is Chris, and I'm calling because I work with a lot of uh, buyers, sellers, and investors in that area. And I just wanted to find out what your long-term plans with the property were. Just holding on for like um, investment, trying to get some some rental income out of it. No, we well, see my wife's in the military, so we transferring out, but we have a chance of coming back within two years. And I don't want to have to buy in two years. Oh, okay, I get it. That makes sense. So you're just kind of filling it for now to kind of offset some of the expenses, and then you're going to come back in about two years. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, yeah, I just wanted to check in. We have a lot of people looking in that area, and I just wanted to touch base because there's not much inventory in the market right now. But that totally makes sense. So I'll definitely get that updated. And uh, I wish you the best of luck in renting it. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Willie. Have a good day. All right. You too. All right. So that call there, not much you can do. I usually would try to flip it to see if they wanted to acquire more property. But again, unique situation. Not really too many ways to pivot that conversation. Um, if it was somebody that was just looking to rent it out to get that cash flow, I would usually try to transition and see if we can get them in as a buyer or an investor that wants to grow their portfolio. So keep that in mind. Um, these calls can flip either way. Hello? Uh, hi, Bill. 
Hey, Bill, um, I'm just calling about the rental you have listed online. Are you still trying to uh, fill that vacancy? Uh, right now, it's uh, on hold at the moment because I have two good candidates. I'm uh, trying to get the background checked on. Oh, uh, okay. Not necessarily, well, not necessarily closing the door because if it all worked out, there will be another open house on the 30th uh, next time. Okay, all right, all right. Well, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time. That's awesome that you almost have it filled. Uh, my name's Chris, and I'm just I'm with the Alpine Group, and I'm calling because we work with a lot of buyers, sellers, and investors in that area, and I just wanted to find out what your long-term plans with the property were. Uh, I plan on keeping it for a while. Going to hold on to it and just kind of collect the rents? And... All right. I, I mean, my wife had a great deal on it uh, back in 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is it, is it cash flowing right now? What was that? Is it, uh, is it making rental? Is it profitable right now to rent it out? Um, is it possible to rent it out? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm asking like, I know you got a good deal on it. So it's, it sounds like you guys are in good shape as far as like the rental income and you guys are doing well with it. Right. Awesome. All right. Yeah, the only reason I wanted to call because the property value shot up over there and we don't really have much inventory, so I wanted to see if you had any interest in selling it. Oh, I see. Okay, didn't you, uh... Well, actually, no, I'm kind of not surprised because uh, I saw a bunch of ad up. I was seeing what the uh, prices were around here in general. I really didn't see too many in that area. Yeah, there's not many no, on the market right now. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. It's okay. There's not many houses in the market right now, um, especially multifamily right. houses. Right. So everybody's kind of like, believe it or not, everybody's kind of fighting over the houses to get a decent multifamily because even though the interest rate shot up, um, people, there's still not enough inventory to go around. So the prices are still pretty high. Oh, I see. Okay. I didn't realize that. All right. Yeah, you would think they went down because the rates, you know, because the, the interest rate shot up, but believe it or not, the well, prices have. Because of the uh, lack of inventory, when you put it that way, I just, I'm just thinking the obvious. Oh, rates are going up, you know, so, you know, people aren't really buying or just kind uh, of, you know, thinking long and hard about buying a piece, but I see your point, yeah. Yeah, so people, the, the landlords are doing really well. Um, some of the homeowners, they're not selling right now because they have nowhere to move into. But the people that have it as investment, you know, some people are like looking into the values and seeing if it makes sense to sell just because of what the market's doing. So that's kind of why I was calling around just to get a feel for, um, you know, what the landlords in Providence are looking to do. And that's why I wanted to give you a call. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, now, sorry. I'm, I'm keeping it for a while. I just figured... Yeah, yeah, no worries. I just figured I'd check in and, you know, if anything changes, feel free to reach out. All right, yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. And I'll send you um, a text message with my contact info just so you have it. And uh, if you need anything in the future, just give me a buzz. Okay. Awesome. All right, Bill, you have a great day, okay? Thank you, you too. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right. All right, so that's a uh, that's a follow-up call. Um, I'm going to send him my information, and then you know maybe I'll touch base with him next week and see how he's doing with the rental. Um, seems like he has a good deal on the property and he doesn't want to really sell, which I get it if he's making cash flow, but, um, could be a decent follow-up. So I'm going to send him a quick text right now and I'm going to put him in my CRM real quick. Let's see what we have here. So Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this information and I'm going to add it to my CRM. Okay, so we're going to do Bill. So what I do is I typically transfer this over to the CRM um, and then I have my pipeline system. So I know exactly when I need to follow up. Um, I can leave follow up task, all that kind of stuff, and I can put them in my different pipelines. So I know exactly when I need to call each person because what happens is when you're calling a lot of leads, like today I called 194 different leads. And when you're calling that bulk of leads, 
uh, you need a way to organize it so these leads don't get lost because when they get lost, you're just kind of wasting your time. And as you can tell from some of the past videos, you get hang, hung up on sometimes. It's hard work, you know, it's definitely a grind. So you want to make sure you're organizing things so you're getting the maximum use of your time, you know. So I'm going to add this here. I'm going to save it and I'm going to put him in the cold cellar pipeline. And I'm gonna leave a quick note here. So talked wants to keep, but seem to have some curiosity about selling. Not really selling, but home values. So I'm gonna make a task here. So this is actually gonna send me a text message next week when I need to call, which is really cool. Um, it's going to send me a text message and say, hey, you need to call this person and follow up. Because that's the last thing you want to do is, is miss out on follow up calls because, you know, you can just drop the ball and miss a lot of opportunity. All right. So next one, we're going to call. Whoa. Another quick tip with these, when you're calling, make sure you, I didn't do it on this call, but I just realized it was a mistake. Um, ask for their phone number because a lot of these numbers are straight from Zillow and Zillow takes the call and then forwards it to their number. So that number that I just saved probably wasn't even his phone number. And if the list, listing comes off of Zillow, I'm never going to be able to contact them again. So I do have their email, but just know that you should ask for their number because you know, you want to be able to keep contact even when the listing goes off of Zillow. So that's a quick tip. This call may be recorded. Lead hung up. On to the next one. There has been an error and the property you called is no longer reachable by phone. See, that's what happens when the they already rent it. So you want to make sure you get the numbers. It's very important. Four zero one two two five two two six nine is not. Okay. There has been an error, and the property you called is no longer reachable by phone. Okay, that's another one. Another one, nobody's answering tonight. There has been an error and the property you called is no longer. Okay, that one got rented already. So that's gonna happen. You know, rentals, there there's not that many on the market right now and everybody's kind of looking for a nice rental, so they do go quick. There has been an error in the property. property. Let's try again. Nobody wants to answer tonight. It's wild. Please leave your message for And this is usually a pretty good call window. Um this time frame is is usually pretty good. So between like four o'clock and seven o'clock, um, great time to call because people usually do answer. 
Um, another good call time is between like eight in the morning to I'd probably say eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock. Not a bad call window. In the middle of the day, not a lot of answers. I just did 194 calls and I got 12 conversations. Not 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 that great. Not that great. But if you have nothing going on and you know it's a, a decent use of your time because um there has been an error in the property. Someone from my team did the same thing. We we did a call block together and she set four appointments. So you never know what's gonna come of it. And she made a hundred calls, four appointments. So can be a really good use of your time. The key is just getting the dials in. Hello? No. Okay. Voice message system four zero. And that's the thing with calling too. It's like one of those things where, you know, you can get dead call after dead call after dead call. And it all it takes is one call. It's the right person to answer at the right time. They like you. They have a good conversation. And now you're off to a listing appointment. So just because you're having a string of bad calls or just because you're having a lot of people that don't answer, just make sure you hit your calls and you do your entire call block. Because if you don't do that, you, you're probably leaving some opportunity on the table. So every bad call is one step closer to that good call that you're looking for. Has been an error in the property. Hello? Uh, hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Yeah. Hey, Michael, I'm just calling about the uh, rental you have listed online. Are you still trying to uh, fill that vacancy? Awesome. Well, hey, my name is uh, Chris with the Alpine Group. I'm just, um, I don't want to take a ton of your time. I just wanted to call because I work with a lot of buyers, sellers, and investors in that area. And I just wanted to find out what your long-term plans with the property were. Um, as far as now, I plan on keeping it for at least five years or so. Oh, nice. Awesome. Okay. So you're going to hold on to it for about five? Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Awesome. And, um, is this your only property or are you, are you trying to grow your portfolio? Uh, this is my only property. I'll see how it goes and then I'll let you know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. Is it your, so it's, is it your first one? Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, cool, cool. So you're just trying to get into it and see how it goes for now and see if you like being a landlord? Yeah, exactly. I got you. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, yeah, that sounds that sounds good. So, um, if you want, I can hold on to your information. Sometimes we get some good deals that come across, you know, our desk at the uh, at the real estate office. And I know you're not looking to buy right now, but in the future, if a good deal comes across, I can always reach out and you know see if you're looking for another one or if you're just kind of done being a landlord and you want to sell this one. Either way, you know, I can keep in touch with you if you want. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can hang on to my phone. All right, that sounds good. What's um, what's the best number to reach you at? This one here, so. Okay, that sounds good. All right, cool. So um, what I'll do is I'll hold on to your information and then I can just circle back with you in like six months to a year. And if you need anything, I'll send you my info too. Uh, that way you have it if anything changes in the meantime. And uh, yes, yeah, stay in touch. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Have a good night. All right, you too. All right, thanks. All right, so not really looking to do anything, but again, build a relationship. This one I'm going to put in my CRM, and then I'm just going to make a task. It's going to alert me to follow up in six months, so I don't have to think about it again for another six months. I'll check in, see how he's doing with his uh, investment property, see if he wants to buy more, see if he's kind of getting aggravated with this one. Whatever he wants to do, you just want to be sure you're the person there to help. That's that's the whole goal. Um, whether it's you, whether it's your team, if you're at that level and you're managing agents, you, know, you want to make sure that you're getting these opportunities uh, either for yourself or your company. So I'm going to save his contact info. I'm going to save the address so I can add it to my CRM. And then I'm just going to make that six month task. And that's a lead. So we just created a new 
relationship out of a rental agent. So that's that's how easy it can go. All right, so on to the next call. You just make a note in here so my team doesn't double call. And we're on to the next one. Okay, so we didn't get a ton of answers. Sometimes that happens. We only get a couple contacts out of this dialing session, but I'm gonna keep making these videos to hopefully inspire you to go out there, prospect, and get some listings in this tough market. So if you like this kind of content, smash the like button and subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below if you are prospecting today and if you set any appointments. I'd love to hear from you, and you have an awesome day.